Wireless Manager, a powerful, easy-to-use software tool, allows users to create a device list, coordinate frequencies, and monitor Audio-Technica wireless equipment. The device list is used to build a portfolio of wireless equipment used for an application, such as an event or an installation. Audio-Technica network devices are automatically populated to the device list tab via drag and drop. Other wireless devices, including non-networked AT wireless equipment, can be included in the device list for planning and frequency coordination. For this example, the computer is connected to a local area network along with AT networked wireless devices set to auto IP mode. Open Wireless Manager. When the unsynced devices window opens, showing a list of connected devices, drag the desired items into the device list window. The device list window groups devices in different horizontal arrangements by their predefined profile type, wireless microphone, in-ear monitor, or battery charger. Wireless Manager imports the current settings for each device and displays the channel name, frequency, group channel, and IP address in the device list window. The Identify button locates a physical device by flashing its front panel display. The collapse arrow displays more devices. Device status is represented by a chain link icon indicating sync between a device and the software. When illuminated, Wireless Manager can send and receive data from a device via the network connection. Right-clicking the chain link icon gives you the option to unsync the device. Selecting a device highlights it. To select a group of devices, use the Shift Control or Shift Command key while selecting them. For networked AT devices, right-clicking a highlighted device exposes the Device Settings button. This button opens the Device Settings window. Use the Device Settings window to observe and make changes to the device. Relevant tabs appear depending on the device. Applying the settings pushes them to the linked device over the network. For a wireless receiver, the System tab allows you to make changes to any receiver front panel setting, including channel name, output level, backup frequency, and metering. To change a setting, select the item and make the adjustment. Apply sends the changes to the receiver. Changes made at the receiver front panel are also reflected in the software. Use the Network tab to customize network settings and change the device ID. Default IP settings are automatic. Applications requiring static IP settings can be configured by changing the IP mode to static and entering the necessary values for the network installation. Use the Group Channel tab to configure user group frequencies or import group channel data in the CSV format. The Transmitter tab allows transmitter settings to be selected and queued for ease of transmitter sync. Choose the items, select the desired values, and click Apply. Select OK to queue the settings to the receiver. At the receiver, simply perform a TX sync to update the transmitter. For this example, two non-networked AT3000 series wireless and four IEM systems from another manufacturer will be added. Select the green plus button to add wireless devices. When the Add Device window opens, select Audio-Technica and choose the ATWR3100B. Select the desired band and choose how many systems to add. Profile shows key information about the system including device type, frequency range, modulation type, and transmitter power. The Filter Intermodulation tab shows advanced settings used in frequency coordination and intermodulation calculations. Add imports the information into the device list. Next, add IEM systems from another manufacturer. Select 4 in the Active Devices box and click Add. If desired, click Profile to see detailed information about them. For equipment not in the database, custom profiles can be created. For this example, a profile will be created for the facility's existing analog wireless from the ABC Microphone Company. In the Add Device window, select Generic Profile and then Profile. In the Model Profiles window, select New Model. In the Basic Profile section, enter key information about the system, device type, Wireless microphone, modulation type, analog. RX designates the number of channels in the receiver. In this case, the value is 1. Step size refers to the tuning increments on the receiver, which for this model is 25 kHz. Enter the receiver's tuning range. Because it is a frequency agile system, select Range and enter the start and end frequencies for the receiver's tuning band. Enter TX Power. In the Add TX Power pop-up, enter the transmitter's RF output level. If the transmitter is capable of multiple transmitter power levels, repeat the process for each one. 
The Filter Modulation tab contains information regarding the system's filters, channel spacing, and intermodulation spacing. This information is used by Wireless Manager when calculating a frequency plan. Refer to the manufacturer's published spec data for these values and enter them accordingly. Click Save As and enter the manufacturer name, a model number, and band information. When the confirmation box appears, save the device. Custom device profiles can be exported and imported as a data file that can be used with other instances of Wireless Manager. Click Export, enter a file name, and save. Tags are used to help organize and manage devices and wireless channels throughout the software. Assign multiple tags to a specific device or channel and use the AND OR functions to create a list based on the tags. ADD creates a new tag. Type the name of the tag using up to 20 alphanumeric characters and choose a desired color. Select a preset color or create a custom color using the color slider. Click Add to add the tag. To delete a tag, highlight the desired tag and click Delete. Deleting a tag will remove it from any items it was previously assigned to. Once tags are defined, add them to devices and channels. In this example, we will assign a wireless receiver to a stage and identify the type of microphone. Click the plus symbol next to the device. Select the desired tag from the list and it appears. If necessary, click the expansion arrow to display the receiver channel. Multiple tags can be added to devices and wireless channels. Once tags have been assigned to devices and channels, use them to create a list and sort devices. For example, to see all devices associated with the main stage, simply select Main Stage in the tag list. The software sorts and displays only those items with the selected tag. Selecting the AND button and Vocal Mics tag will show a list of all vocal microphones used at the main stage. Select OR, Lead Vocal, Background Vocals, along with Announce Mics to show all of them regardless of stage location. Device lists and model profiles can be imported and exported for use in other wireless manager projects using the Import and Export functions under the File menu. Project Properties under the File menu opens the Properties window. Here you can control user access and set a password. The Show tab is where project and venue information can be entered, including contact data and notes about the project. This information populates the reports generated during a frequency coordination. Use the Edit menu to quickly access device and channel configurations, turn all syncing off, or go directly to the Model Profiles window. The System menu allows quick access to the device settings, while the Window menu gives direct access to the unsynced devices list. Under the Help menu, check for software updates, set preferences, and view the user manual. The next video in this series covers the frequency coordination process and deploying the results to wireless devices. For more information, visit us on the web at www.audio-technica.com.